can't, yeah, I understand you had a bit of a problem in, so you, they had to shove you out to Rotterdam. No, <laughs> not quite shove, not quite shove, you know, as soon as I knew it was in Holland, I'm there, mate, I'm there. But uh, what it was, um, I went out to Rotterdam to work with uh, Mac, Mac Illinois, oh, yeah, um, the, a.k.a. Magnificent. He matches music. Um, <laughs> no, he's a, he's a he's basically a hip hop producer uh, based in uh, Rotterdam. He also works in LA with MC Random, Area 51 crew. Um, basically, I got the opportunity to go out there and uh, make an album with him. He produced all the tunes. Um, I spent the week out there, you know, made some nice hookups with some of his people. So yeah, that was that was kind of nice. And um, but I said previously that album should be looking to come out sort of uh, February next year and that's more of a straight up hip hop album um, I've got some features uh, from MC Random on there also so got to big him up you know he's uh, kind of big in his game in LA so so what do you think of about this album is going to make it stand out from all the competition um basically I think what what I'd say with the uh, with Brown Sourcing and with this other album um they're, they're, they're great introduction albums, you know, one's showing, introducing you to my experimental hip hop side and the other album is, is, is um, exposing my just straight up hip hop side, you know, that, that's where I mainly come from, I'm a hip hop guy, do you know what I mean, but obviously as I've grown up I've become more musically educated and more genres have come in, you know, they've come around me, they've come into my ears and... So uh, what on a daily basis would you say kind of inspires you most? At the minute, um, I'd say in any way. it's just good music. I mean, at the minute, it's Jill Scott, it's people like Stanley. You know, there's it, I'm, I'm into a lot of underground artists, and that's where I'm from. So you know, yeah, I used to like underground artists. <laughs> just... One minute, one minute. So there is just so much music though now. That's the problem. I think it's overload. Um, you can't get a chance to hear it all when when, yeah, when there was only like a hundred albums a week. You heard everything. Yeah. You can, now you miss so much good stuff. I miss stuff every week. I miss stuff yeah. every week. You know, there's new and, and in all our all our forms. Yeah, yeah, you know. definitely, definitely. And that's why you know it's it's all right to drop one good tune, but you you've got to keep dropping them. When you drop the one, just keep building on top of that, and just making sure you go up a level every time. Well, the whole music business is different now, so yeah. what? It's no 360 degree. You've got to have everything going for you. The image, the thing, the gigs, the promotion, the merchandise, the everything. And it's just, uh, well, well. So um, I think we're running out of time. Yeah. We're running out of we're film or told. something. We're being so, told. yeah. Uh, <laughs> really great speaking to you. And we didn't even touch our base on the history of hip hop and not James too Brown much, not too stuff, much. But, but, mm. but yeah, great. And um, you know, I really wish you a lot of success in the future because I've heard some stuff by you, and it's great. And then I don't know that much about this, but it's great. So 